Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at various industry and government compliance standards like GDPR or ISO specific or NIST. These are the individual organizations that make these standards and those standards were followed by Microsoft Azure in order to build their data centers and data handling all that has been done out of these three we are going to start with GDPR um, exactly and then be followed by ISO and NIST and also I'll be um, showing you some of the uh, Microsoft documentation which talks about all these in depth about these compliances and other certificates so let's begin with GDPR uh, which stands for the general data protection regulation uh, this is actually a law within European Union regarding how data needs to be protected and how individual uh, private information needs to be protected now with this uh, law this is applicable for anybody that uh, does business within the European Union and holds a personal information of residents within the European Union and law uh, really aims uh, to give control to the individuals over their personal data and it addresses things like exporting the data outside of European Union and security of uh, the data wherever it is going to save and uh, in a lot of cases this law requires certain things like data to be saved inside the European Union uh, country and data must be encrypted and things like that and also uh, if you take a look at uh, within this browser so these are the tools which we talked about within the Microsoft Azure and uh, these are the tools we'll talk about more about the security and the compliance and these are the tools which we use it as part of our compliance specific if you look at within this web page which is talking about how Microsoft Azure is protecting privacy specific to GDPR within the Azure policies this is a very good blog post uh, which is uh, posted by Pradeep Nair and uh, within this if you see here uh, within the uh, to protect any of the personal com personal data or the data which is exist within the Microsoft Azure uh, with respect to EU policies or GDPR if you see here if I just go to this page actually this opens and within this it's actually talking about uh, how you're gonna uh, store the data for example if there's a user account uh, if you just go to the properties of the user account and just to try to configure the, the profile as the uh, location uh, within specific to the European Union that would actually protect that specific data information similarly um, this gives you if you just go through with this guidance it actually gives you step-by-step -step guidance on how to comply with the GDPR requirements and uh, specific to the personal data uh, which is going to resident, uh, resident in within the Azure and this capability to execute data subject to a uh, request is available through Microsoft Azure portal on a public and other cloud and also you can configure the Azure policies so as we talked in the previous lectures like within the Azure policies you can define a specific policy uh, saying that you must to uh, ensure that these must follow or uh, within that specific region and uh, such things so that would make uh, easy by enforcing such policies so that we can track and we can audit that specific data where it actually exists and also we talked about the compliance manager in the previous lectures so this also helps us in order to uh, setting some kind of you know, compliance policies and we can easily control with that uh, policies within the Microsoft Azure uh, from the Azure portal and Azure information protection and the security center and compliance GDPR blueprints which will give you uh, more uh, helpful resources in order to set up the Azure uh, GDPR blueprint or specific to the policies you can straightforward assign the compliance manager specific policies and you can make them to get the proper score and you can encrypt um, the services uh, or whatever the data exists within the Microsoft Azure so that you get the proper information the next thing within the list is ISO ISO stands for Information Security Management and, and it's a standard setting organization and what it means is instead of passing laws like GDPR, uh, ISO is an organization that sets standards for organizations to meet and if they do so they will be considered as a 
compliant. If you see within the Microsoft uh, one of the uh, web page here as the blog post, you can check out here the latest certifications that are uh, compliant by Microsoft as a leader uh, for ISO certifications. You see here not just the Microsoft uh, 27001 uh, and also it has a lot of other ISO standard uh, certificates also complaint and whatever it's not just for the public cloud it also complained for the uh, Azure government cloud so the, these are the standards which are automatically followed and uh, this means that the it actually provides the framework of policies for these specific certifications and the procedures that includes all the legal and the physical and the technical controls possible to make sure that uh, an organ as a organization um, they follow this information and the standards that are coming from ISO standards so that they are uh, following those policies and procedures within the these rules or uh, which are set by organization becomes as uh, these uh, sta standard certificates now now we need to move for other one NIST which is a national institution of standards and technology which is going to provide you recommended security controls for the information uh, systems at federal agencies not for the public this is mostly for the government and in fact it's just for the governments where you can you know follow uh, many of the HIPAA and other complaints including uh, SOX and FISME all that complaints levels it can follow now we can check out here the federal risk and authorization management program uh, which is uh, set by uh, Microsoft uh, as for the government laws to be no, uh, followed if you see here in the left side of my uh, browser and also for the global compliances information also they provided here and these all are complaint so if somebody uh, asks you to uh, get this some kind of information on the certif uh, certified standards this is where you need to you know go and check those complaint certificates are there or if so whether it is complaint and how they are setting for example if i take it um, here as the nist which is a national institute of standards and technology it actually provides a blueprint for you and that's where you can you know start uh, to configure your blueprints and uh, mostly if you see here somewhere it should be there f setting up the blueprints information like a search blue yeah, you see blueprints of the uh, NISTC SF risk management checklist and all that uh, you can you know standards follow and you can be a compliant as per Microsoft its policies and by default these are already uh, certified by Microsoft so if your documentation or if your data is stored within the Microsoft Azure that means you are certified with all these complaints complain uh, but all you have to do is you have to you know just uh, set all those configurations um, within this uh, with with the help of these tools and configure them and get the uh, uh, sh show that the complaint score for uh, your auditors if really need watching this I hope this is useful for you